ladies and gentlemen, you know, I've been talking about the upcoming winter being pretty brutal for many people in America. And the polar vortex is now emerging in the stratosphere over the North Pole. Now, this will definitely impact weather in Canada and the U.S. Now, this thing is no joke. If you live in the Northeast, you have definitely experienced this polar vortex. And it is no joke, y'all. When my furnace broke down, the polar vortex was present. And this thing goes on for days. Sometimes it can go on longer than a week. And at that particular time, it went down to nine degrees. And I said, yeah, it figures my furnace will go out on me at nine degrees, right? But, you know, we were okay. We, were, we just had to use space heaters to keep ourselves warm. But it was just terrible. And, you know, of course, since then, we have long gotten our furnace replaced. But this thing is no joke. And a lot of times you'll even hear on local news about them getting people off of the streets because that bitter cold is, is bone chilling. And I am not exaggerating. So whenever they say the polar vortex is coming, I know it's going to be bone chilling outside. So now a uh, polar vortex is now emerging in the stratosphere over the North Pole and will impact the weather as we head closer to the winter of 2022-2023. And that is the truth. Um, the North Pole, they have been reporting that the temperatures have been dropping very rapidly. And that is also another sure sign that it's going to be a cold winter in the polar vortex. That's where it will originate from, the North Pole. So as you will see, there are many layers to the polar vortex and different weather outcomes it can produce. And that's very true. Um, but regardless of strong, weak, or collapsed, it is always playing an important part in the winter weather. So you can see the image that has come out uh, that they took from the stratosphere. And they said, you know, this is a strong uh, polar vortex that they are looking at. All right, so um, such a near circular shape usually means a strong stratospheric circulation. But what is a polar vortex? Well, <laughs> I, it makes you very cold. And why do you care? Because it will show you what the winter can do. In fact, um, when that cold weather, that winter where Texas was left without power, there was a polar vortex going on even then. So as we head into autumn, the polar regions start to receive less sunlight. With less solar energy, temperatures begin to drop and seasonal cooling begins over the North Pole. But the polar temperature drop and the atmosphere further to the south is still relatively warm as it continues to receive light and energy from the sun. Yeah. But as the temperature drops over the polar region, so does the pressure. And this process is the same on the surface and up in the stratosphere. You will see layers of the atmosphere. Um, and they're saying, you know, there's these different ozone layers and you'll see different colors in the polar vortex because it will impact places differently depending on where it hits. And of course, in the yellow, not yellow, I'm sorry, in the purple and bluish sort of areas, that's where it's going to be the coldest. Or you see like a fuchsia looking color, that's where it's going to be the coldest. And man, that thing has been 
over us a multitude of times and it's never good. So it causes a strong global pressure difference between the polar and the subtropical regions and a low pressure uh, circulation that starts to develop across the Northern hemisphere. It extends from the surface layer far up into the stratosphere. This is known as a polar vortex. Mm-hmm. And the upper stratosphere, uh, part of the more circular and symmetrical, as it spins higher above the ground, the lower structure of the polar vortex is more uneven. So it's unevenly distributed depending on how it comes over the U.S. and Canada. Okay. So, you know, they're still saying it's going to be tough. And it looks like um, from what I, I'm seeing, the central part, the northwest, and it looks like, like from New York on up, that is going to be the worst winter weather. And, and I'm talking about New York on up on the East Coast. They're going to really experience the worst and coldest weather um, as far as the winter con is concerned. Now, some places are going to be more drier than others. Some are going to be more wet than others. So it really depends on where you are above or below the jet stream. So usually people that are above the jet stream will get it the worst. Okay, so they are saying it's going to be stronger winds and you are going to see, you're going to see more um, articles and more news stories on the polar vortex as we get closer and closer into the winter. So a lot of times the polar vortex is about three miles up in the atmosphere. And you know, it, it gets stronger, you know, sometimes it will um, break apart when it goes over mountains and terrains, and sometimes it'll stay intact. So just because it goes over mountainous areas, that's not a sure thing that it's going to change its form or anything. That's not necessarily true. So then you'll start hearing not only about the colder temperatures, but nor'easters, which we tend to get. Um within my region. You'll hear about winter storms like nor'easters in the U.S. and cold air outbreaks across Europe. And the polar vortex is responsible for all of those things. So the polar vortex generally uh, acts like a large cyclone. And right now it's covering the entire North Pole area. That's what it's doing right now. So that, that thing is massive. That is a monster right there. So everybody, all I can say is brace yourself for this winter. A lot of times when you have these boiling hot summers, you're going to have a pretty treacherous winter. And, you know, they're saying we're in a La Nina this year going into 2023. So I'm sure even where it is in Ukraine, they'll probably start getting cold as of um, next month. It'll probably start getting cold around that region. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this article and are you ready for what's about to hit America this coming fall and winter? Let me know in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.